You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing SmackDown Live uh, recap from t- October 3rd. Yeah. This was not a good show. Nope. It It's like, because like for a good stretch, Raw has had lackluster go-home shows, but the pay-per-views are great. Yeah. And I, this I, is like a lackluster SmackDown Live before a pay-per-view. That's probably not going to be... Yeah, yeah I, I, I I don't <laughs> see it being very good at all. This pay per view. Yeah, the just the because everything here, with the exception of two matches, are just rehashings of matches that have happened. Well, no, okay, that, that's not true. Four right, well, match, four about, matches are new. How about we discuss that in our Hell in a Cell prediction video? Okay, well, the storylines are very good established on on SmackDown itself. Fair enough. But a lot of this stuff is is not treading new territory, and it's also been going on for the last month. Yeah. Plus. Yes. <clears throat> so. Yeah. Anywho, uh, how did we start? So we open the show with Renee interviewing Shinsuke. Mm-hmm. This is always the best way to go about things, interviewing the man that doesn't have the greatest English, because the idiots go, what? What? It's just so... It, it's... It's annoying. It's true. Well, it's because it's you're basically just disrespecting a a very credible. Right. Wrestler. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And they're yeah. not they're not showcasing his strengths properly. Mm-hmm. They're kind of just throwing him out there like they would anybody else. When yeah. They really shouldn't be. Mm-hmm. So. so yeah, he's just basically asked about the comments that Jinder had made. The racist comments. Yes, those ones. And then Shinsuke basically says that he's going to win at Hell in a Cell. Nothing nothing new here. Yeah, this he's is very just, confident. Yes. And then the Sings come out, which I was like, wait, that's not Jinder's music. And I guess the Sings have their own music. They do. And It's uh, just usually what happens is they cut back from commercial and they're already in the ring. <laughs> yeah, it's true. So uh, they were going to introduce Jinder. And then Jinder comes through the crowd and behind and attacks Shinsuke. Yep. Shinsuke gets the upper hand, he starts fighting all three of them, and then he gets overpowered, and that was the segment. Yep. Nothing we haven't seen before. It's true. I mean... Why didn't they make this a Hell in a Cell match? I don't know. Because it's like the Punjabi prison match all over again. Yeah, that's such true. Like, there's no reason why... Because this is the opportunity. Oh, absolutely, yeah. (laughs) But um, I guess they decided that they didn't trust the uh, two guys that have never been in a Hell in a Cell match together. Yeah. Because yeah. usually, well, no, because last year Seth fought um, Owens and neither of them had been in one before. Right, but Jericho was there. Yeah, but he was only in the end of the match. Was he? I thought he went in like through the middle. It was towards the end. Was it? Fair enough. <laughs> Then he had Charlotte and Sasha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. And then the other one was Roman Rusev and, and Rusev. Yeah. Rusev had never been in, but yeah, Roman, Roman has, was. I think. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't know how much they really trust these two. Well, it's true. I mean, Shinsuke, obviously, they have faith. In. Faith, and then they pulled back that faith after the uh, Cena incident. Wow. Yeah. Um, which, you know, that was no one's fault. It's true. Both didn't know what the other one was doing. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it is what it is. And Jinder, and yeah, like I said to you earlier on, looks like they're going to be in India in December, so... Hopefully that just means that he'll have title opportunity, but it's not very likely. No. Oh, well. Um, yeah, so uh, then we get the first match of the night, and guess what? It, what? It was something we've seen time oh, and again. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Charlotte and Becky against Natalia and Carmella. Yeah. They keep on teaming up the Money in the Bank holder. With the champion. And, yes, mm-hmm. which makes no sense. No. I Although mean, they did allude to, I think it was um, Natalia told her that she better not try to cash in. Or right. Otherwise, that, uh, I don't know, she'll look angrily at her. Right. There's really no consequence. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but... I, I don't think we're there yet with Carmella, <clears throat> with a where a cash in would make sense. Oh, she can keep on going for yeah, this forever yeah. because for a long time. Again, with the women's storylines, any secondary storyline is thrown out. So as soon as this briefcase 
is done, and if she doesn't successfully cash it in, it's just... Oh, uh, there's... I don't think there's any way she doesn't... Went and successfully do it? Yeah, yeah. I, I would agree, but I'm just, just saying we yeah. figured that Corbin was going to successfully cash it in, too, but... I, I think that what might happen is, like, maybe at some point further down the road, Charlotte or Becky pick up the title, mm-hmm. and, like, there's, like, a, a feud between... Whoever has the title and Tamina, mm. Tamina lays them out, and then that's when like, Armel comes in. That would that yeah. would kind of make sense. And then we end up with a Nia Jax Alexa Bliss type deal with Carmella. Well, and... no, because you already have that with Lana. Yeah, I'm just oh, yeah, saying that, or or it's like a multi person match. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, yeah. So, some she, something she does the damage. Carmella yeah. comes out, throws her out of the ring, and then takes the easy pin. Yeah, yeah, so, something that, like that. Yeah. So, yeah, anyway, um, pretty standard match here. Yeah. Uh, Carmella ends up hitting Becky outside the ring with the Money in the Bank briefcase. Mm-hmm. And inside the ring, Natalia puts Charlotte in the sha- sharpshooter, and Charlotte taps out. Yeah. Do you think this is telling? I don't like the fact that um, Charlotte was booked so strong, and now in order to to make natalia look strong you have to make her weak. charlotte look weak yeah. but i mean the pin i mean i guess if she pinned becky maybe it would, that would make more sense because yeah. i mean you can't have carmella lose i mean could. you can but very easily actually that's because true she doesn't need to yeah. be good but it wouldn't make sense for the faces to win this no no, no. no. yeah but in terms of being telling Mm-hmm. I, I think that they never planned on having Natalia hold the title for a long time anyway. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, so, that's what I mean. So. This is where 50-50 booking comes in. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. So. We'll see. But, yeah. We'll get to that in our LNSL preview and predictions video. Yes. All right. So, uh, up next, we had another match, surprisingly. Yep. Uh, Mike Kanellis versus Bobby Roode. And apparently, this match has been the dark match or the... Yeah, I guess the dark match before the show the last couple weeks or right, so something I mean, like that. Finally made it to the main show. Yeah, even though we did see this on... This was Bobby Roode's debut match over... Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So. Yep. So dumb. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Um, obviously, Roode wins. Glorious DDT. Yes, this was I'll tell probably you what, under a minute. Uh, yeah, it wasn't very long. <clears throat> I love I love the DDT, though. Oh, yeah, it's... I... I, I I liked the pump handle slam more, but that was more because it was <laughs> so funny. It, the glorious bomb, right? Or what the it, hell it was it? called the glorious bomb. Yeah, but it was just a pump handle slam. Yeah. Oh, so good stuff. this this is a nice looking DDT. Yeah. Well, I mean, with DDTs, it you usually can get a variation of it, even yeah. from the even flow, which was Raven's DDT, to this to Gangrels. They were all a little different. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. so, uh, after the match, Dolph Ziggler comes out mm-hmm. and, uh, what, well, I guess he asked Bobby what he thought about his entrance, yes, right? Yes, that was and, the first thing yeah, he said. Yeah. What do you think of my entrance, Bobby? And then he goes to the back, right? And then comes out and. No, I don't think he went into the back. Yeah. Yeah. I thought he went into the back and then he grabbed the drum. Remember? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's right. And he came out banging that. the drum and then. Yeah. I forget what else he grabbed. There was just like random instruments and stuff laying at ringside. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then he went into the ring and did his usual spiel. Yeah, called said Bobby's just an entrance again, mm-hmm. and that <clears throat> eventually the bell has to ring. Yep. Um, and then uh, then he goes to leave, and Bobby's like, "Hold on, hold on, hold on! I didn't get to answer your question." <laughs> he said, so, "Your entrance is terrible." Frankly, I thought it was terrible. Yeah. And then he's like, it It certainly wasn't glorious. And then he did taunt. the thing. And then, yeah. the, and as he was saying it, the music hit. That was a nice little touch. Yeah. So. Well, this will be a new match we haven't seen. Bobby Roode versus Dolph Ziggler? Yes. That's not true, right? No, we haven't seen that. No. Oh. The only interaction between them was last week. And oh, it was okay. made. All right. Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. It should be a good match, mm-hmm. you know, because Dolph's a good worker and bobby can put on good matches yeah um then up next the usos were going to read the new day their rights because it's the uso penitentiary yep so which doesn't make a whole lot of sense since they're not the champions anymore but no whatever go on yep so they uh they welcome them to the 
Uso Penitentiary. It's, it's still dumb. And, you know, they say that they've put in work and they got the whole div- tag division on lockdown and then they're going to, you know, basically they said what they were going to do to the New Day in the match and then the New Day comes out mm-hmm. and then they... Um, they promote their underwear. Yes, and then they held up a picture or mm-hmm. held up a package of yeah. it. And he's like, but but that's not why we're out here. And they go to the ring, and then, you know, they say, since we've been here, what did they say, five or six months ago or something like that? It hasn't been that long, has yeah. it? Yeah, it was uh, May. Yeah, that's so right. Five months, right? Time flies. Yeah, so since they've been here, they've made this the tag division what it is, and then, you know, they say they're going to, well, they're gonna leave the Usos in a pile of their own day one ish. Yes, it's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, I mean it wasn't a bad promo they, battle back and forth. It's just uh, towards the end of it, actually, the Uso, not the Usos, the New Day kind of laid into them yeah. pretty good. Yeah. So <clears throat> they definitely came up on top of this exchange mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah. Um, but again, this is this is kind of they're in the same uh, place that Raw is. But, I mean, Raw has the problem with the injuries with the tag division, but SmackDown just doesn't have viable threats besides Shelton Benjamin and... Yeah, Chad which Gable is probably going to be... Probably the, battle the Usos next, I would assume, right? Assuming that the New Day loses. Yeah. Um, Maybe, I don't know. I don't think the New Day are going to lose, I don't though. think so either, but that could just be another stepping stone for them. Yeah, because I was going to say they could very easily just face Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin for... No, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to complain about, or I, it's, it's a very easy story to have these two faces face each other. Right. Oh, yeah, that's so, true. Or they could turn Shelton Benjamin and um, Chad Gable heel. I guess he could. He could. I don't think it's going to happen, no. but he could. No. Um, but yeah, like I said, it, it was pretty good. It was, yeah, it was decent. If, if anything, it, it helped their feud. Mm-hmm. At the very least. Mm. I, I'm definitely looking forward to this match, though. This is going to be the best match on yeah. the card. Um, because they've done such good work on a on a consistent basis. Yep. And now that they have... Regardless if they were on the pre-show or not. Well, it's true. But now they have a... Um, what's it called? Just the, the, the cell to work with. They have all kinds of opportunities. Yeah. Especially when they had the uh, Sin City street fight. They mm. were making good use of outside the ring and stuff like that. Because yeah. that match got a... It was going to get out of hand, it seemed like. Yeah, so that's certainly worth looking forward to. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, up yeah, next. This we... was so dumb. Yeah. Jinder Mahal was backstage, and he basically talked about what happened earlier on, and then we were shown the footage, and that was it. Yeah. I, it, they Just like right before No Mercy, it's like they were just trying to fill time yeah. because they didn't want to try to make any more story. Yeah, but... Uh, it, it, before Raw, before No Mercy, wasn't this bad. No, absolutely not. No. But still, yeah, it, it looks like that's what they're going for. Well, I mean, for. this, again, like we've said in the past, was just very telling of a small roster. Mm-hmm. I mean, there, there was so plenty of you guys you could have just thrown on here. You Where's know? Luke Harper? All right. I mean, <laughs> that's pretty much it. But never growing. Yeah, I guess, but um, I don't really Are care. the Colognes back yet? Didn't they? leave no one of them got injured oh yeah. i know they wanted they were thinking about leaving yeah, yeah. remember but, when there was rumors of carlito coming back yeah that's not happening yeah no um anyway mm-hmm. uh up next we had a uh i guess rematch from last week right yeah it was last week right i believe so and aj got involved in the match that's what happened last yeah. week um ty dillinger versus baron corbin mm-hmm. um i guess this is kind of just uh a grudge match because Ty felt like he got cheated. Yeah. And so he got his rematch against Corbin. Or this um, was you guys work decent together. Go back out there. Oh, well, yeah, that's... <clears throat> that's what that's, really happened. That's why Baron Corbin wrestled uh, Randy Orton for those, like, three weeks in a row a few months yeah, back. That's true. Um, But yeah, Ty ends up winning with a roll-up of all things. Yeah, I think Corbin was going for, what, a suplex, right? And then Ty kind of kicked him and reversed it into a roll-up. Yeah, something like that. So is this, uh, that's Corbin's weakness, is the roll-up? Didn't well, Sammy Zayn roll him up a couple times? Yes, that did happen, but I think <laughs> I think those are just coincidences. Yeah, no, I know. Um, but, so this gets Ty a win, and lets Corbin get away with not really getting pinned. Yeah. 
But this would have been the perfect opportunity for them to put Ty into the match, and then you could have Corbin winning it by pinning Ty. And then... Yeah, well, that because I was thinking that's what AJ was going to say. Yeah. It's like, since, but that doesn't benefit AJ. No. Having a third person in the match. No. Basically, because of what you just said. Yeah. Um, but uh, anyway, um, Corbin's freaking out. So, oh, it was just two. And then AJ comes up on the uh, on the Titantron, and he goes on about how um, Corbin's uh, his at Hell in a Cell, his ways of what taking shortcuts aren't yeah. going to do him any good. Mm-hmm. And he, but uh, yeah, he was also talking about how he squandered so many opportunities, losing to John Cena, um, failing to cash in the Money in the Bank, yeah, and a couple other ones. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, then he, he basically said that shortcuts won't work against me, and if you try it, I'll cut you short. <laughs> it was it was a decent promo by oh AJ. yeah no it was for aj it was mm-hmm. pretty good but uh, apparently i guess in order to keep the audiences there during the show aj was wrestling dark matches after 205 live uh-huh so that's why he hasn't been on tv as much wrestling oh. yeah i don't know if he was wrestling jinder or because uh-huh. jinder hasn't wrestled in a while too that's true huh i guess that would make sense yeah which again it, there's a lot of question marks on what's next because their next pay-per-view is survivor series yeah so there probably won't be a title match i i wonder if they're gonna do the six verse or five verse five yeah or because i don't know it, it's hard yeah, to I say because you would like to think that this would like there would be some kind of interpromotional thing that isn't strictly um angle versus dan o'brien right like it'd be more of like <clears throat> let's say uh, i can't even think of a good good crossover no like um someone against aj right yeah yeah but there's really no no yeah the only ones i could see is if you had elias versus Aiden English. Oh well, <laughs> it's true. But I'm, I wasn't even talking like a single person. I was talking Just about like, like a, team a team thing. Yeah, because no. they used to do that all the right. time, where they would be like, it well, would be like, like we a... had Randy Orton and Rock. Right? Were they opposite brands or were they the same brands? Who? When Orton and Lesnar fought at SummerSlam last year, they were opposite. Right. But that that I was yeah. like I said, I was talking about like yeah, they I'm used to do to... the team stuff, where it'd be. Like it would be like one leader, and mm-hmm. then they recruited people. I got gotcha. you. Which is absolutely possible. They could. It's pick, true. Yeah. That's, they could pick. Um, there's time. It could be a team AJ against the team. Um, I don't know because if you put the Miz? shield back together, Miz. you know you. Yeah, I guess you could. Do that would that. make sense. Yeah. They kind of have history, don't they? Yeah, a little bit. I, I think they were starting to, and then everything got changed. They were both the in the shake-up. elimination chamber match. Yeah. So that's something. But, you know, it's, you know, ideas need to, I'm sure they have no idea what they're doing. I'm just thinking about something. Is AJ the only one still on Smack? No, Corbin from that Elimination Chamber match. Because Dean went to Raw. Yeah. Uh, Cena, went. Cena went to Raw. Bray went to Raw. Yeah. And was Orton in it? it was, well, there were six of them. Oh, so maybe Orton, AJ, and Corbin were the other three? No, I don't think Orton was in that match. No, I didn't think so it, either. Dean, Bray... Uh, Cena, no, because Miz, Orton fought no. Harper at that event, right? Who was? Who oh yeah, was well, yeah, the Miz, right? Yeah, the Miz yeah, was it. it. Yeah, so that's the sixth. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So four people have gone to Raw from that match. Mm-hmm. It's just funny. Yeah. Once again, complete coincidence. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah absolutely. Still strange to yep. think about. Mm-hmm. Um. <clears throat> yeah. After that, we had the Susan G. Komen presentation again mm-hmm. on SmackDown. This just time. different people. Yeah, different women and obviously the smackdown women's roster yes mm-hmm. nice and easy to go over that one yep um all right so up next is a match we've never seen before no randy orton versus aiden english third time we've seen it uh it's probably been around there yeah because i think the first match was orton got dq'd yeah there's been there was one match where or like you think the first time orton won mm-hmm. like easily well i mean this works in the sense because it had Rusev involved, and well, I think yeah. the last time it was just Aiden English and Randy Orton. Yeah, so at it's one just point it was just Orton taking frustration out on Aiden English. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, Rusev was at ringside for this match. 
Um, he was like pretty much staring down Randy the whole time. Yeah. And he was like getting all upset when, uh, when, uh, when Randy was winning and Which, trying to cheer on. Again, this is probably what, two minutes you figure? Yeah, it wasn't very long. Although the RKO was really nice. Yeah, that, that was, it was. That was a nice. Mm-hmm. It was off the rope, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, off the rope, and he threw him up and hit him with the RKO mm-hmm. instead of, like, he didn't do the work. Right. Eden English did, did the work. work. Yeah. So it's not very often that that happens. No. So it, was, it was a good, uh, good spot. Yeah. Yeah. So after the match, uh, Rusev starts to pretend like he's going. Well, he actually starts to get in the ring, and then Randy dropped on all fours and kind of just stared at him, and Rusev backed away and mm-hmm. went up the ramp. Yeah, so, yeah. I, I figured I mean, this would have made sense to put him. I mean, not really, but at least a Hell in a Cell or something like that. Had they built it a little more? Yeah, I mean, I, they didn't really do much since no. SummerSlam to now, and no. they had that match. Well, it's because Rusev what? was off TV for a few well, weeks. That's right. That's why he was in Bulgaria. Yes, he went back a defeated man. Yeah. So, but yeah, they they could have they could have yeah something. had they done a little more yeah because I, I mean I don't aside know aside from some stupid spots last year I think Reigns and and Rusev was decent yeah well the just the, the steps yeah that was the worst <laughs> the part accolade of the match. on the steps yeah um but they're gonna do that stupid crap no matter what yeah no absolutely um but yeah th- there's potential there but I think they ruined it at SummerSlam yeah um yeah. So I don't know why they thought a 10-second match would be a was good idea. It was eight? <laughs> I don't know, maybe it was 10. I could have swore it oh, was Oh, yeah, 10. and then Rusev won in nine seconds, right? Yeah. Something like that. Nah, whatever. Um, so, uh, but yeah. Yep. It's probably going to be another eh match, maybe. It could be good. Could be. But um, they seem to be doing weird booking. So so I don't know if... You, I'm sure you didn't because we've gone over this. But, like, you didn't listen to John Cena on Edge yeah. and Christian. One Sport. of these days, I will. Orton was on there last week, and uh-huh. he was like, I can't wait to be done with this damn baby face crap. <laughs> so he wants to turn heel. Why? So. He's been a, a face forever for no reason. I know. Why wouldn't he just be heel the whole time? Doesn't make sense, because he gets cheered by the crowd. It doesn't matter. But uh, hopefully uh, we get AJ and Orton. A heel Orton? Yes, heel Orton. Orton. Yes. No, I'm just, I'm oh, just yeah, saying. Oh, yeah, an actual heel. Orton, well, because yeah. last time Orton was the face and AJ was the heel. Yeah. So that'd be fine. Yeah. And so that, we, we that just could got be. It very little. It was a short thing with it. It was a right? couple weeks. It wasn't even for a pay per view, yeah. I don't think. Because um, the, the MSG event I went to, he wrestled Orton. Oh, okay. That's right. So, but I don't th- I, th- I don't think there was a pay per view because it was right before WrestleMania and mm-hmm. AJ wrestled uh, Shane. Right. So, and then he turned face after that. Mm-hmm. Um, but, uh,. What was I gonna say? I don't know. Orton heel. Oh well, yeah. It could be that. Could, that's a title worthy. Yeah. Oh, feud. absolutely. So you give give AJ the title off of um, Jinder, and then um, have Orton go after AJ. Yeah. And have that'd Nakamura be cool. More win the Rumble and uh, him Fade. and AJ at WrestleMania, mm-hmm. and that'd be the second year in a row SmackDown won the Rumble. That's it. That's fine because Raw doesn't need a Rumble. Nope. Uh, Rumble winner. Yeah, I, I gotcha. So. Because right. no one wants to see Roman Reigns win the Royal Rumble. Okay, <laughs> let's move on. So uh, Shane is walking backstage, and Sammy comes up to him and says, "I don't think you understand who you're getting in that cell with, Shane." And Shane's like, oh, "I know what I'm doing." He's like, "No, that's not the Kevin Owens that we've seen. This man is snapped." And oh, and then Shane's like, "No, I don't think you understand." I'm not getting in there with Kevin Owens. He's getting in there with Shane McMahon. Yeah. Overly yeah. confident old yep. Ben. Imagine if Sami Zayn came in and turned heel. You know what? I, that thro- thought crossed my mind. Well, it was weird because in the next segment, he makes it a false count anywhere match, mm-hmm. which means something could happen. Where they don't outside. stay in the... Right. They probably won't Like stay. an inadvertent hit or something like that, and it turns into Sammy. Well, what would be cool... As if the pinfall happens on top of the cell. Mm. That's happened before. I don't remember in what capacity. Look, I just don't want a 50-year-old Shane or however he is trying to do stupid stuff. Owen said he's going to throw him off the top of the cell. <laughs> I know what he said. So, look. Expect the unexpected. I know. Which is what they tell you. Yeah. And usually we get the expected. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't want to see the old man doing stupid stuff. Mm-hmm. 
It's gonna. Happen. I mean, it's gonna happen. Yeah, it, I, I, I realize that. It's it's foolish to think that. I, I know. No, no. I I know it's going to happen. I just don't want it to happen. Yeah. I can't wait. <laughs> I'm I'm excited about the old man, and this will be the main event. Oh yeah. It's, that's why it's yeah. funny. Oh, Raw, yeah, I forgot there's Raw's, a title match. Raw's title mm-hmm. will always be the main event, mm-hmm. or the universal Even if title. It's not the real title. Yeah, the universal title will be the main event. The WWE title, unless there's something, or I should say, if there's anything of any kind of magnitude, yeah, we'll get Cena AJ would, you know, something to that. Mag- mm-hmm. mag- well, even this, this is yeah. important. I'm surprised they didn't put a stipulation to this. Oh yeah, some kind of thing with Shane and Owens well, going back. Like to you've the... heard the rumors of Owens possibly going to Raw after this. Yeah, but they haven't really. No, I know done anything but that to would suggest start it. something with Triple H and things. Yeah, like and that. that could even be something with the Survivor right. Series. Yeah, that's true. That that could cause a team Team Raw versus Team SmackDown for a real reason, mm-hmm. as opposed because this is Kevin Owens recruiting people. That's true. That's a good point. So. Where it's Kevin, Kevin Owens, Owens turning on his team and going well, to Raw. Well, no, it could be Kevin Owens as the leader of Team Raw mm-hmm. as a SmackDown superstar. So Shane's going to be on Team SmackDown again if that happens. <laughs> well, yeah, but then you have that, and then you have... Hopefully he doesn't almost die again. It's true. <sighs> Old man shouldn't <laughs> be doing told. these things. And you, you're excited to see him I know, try to kill fun. himself. It's fun. Yeah, all so right. It's, it's all in good sport. Well, take us to the main event. All right, so uh, Shane comes out. It's supposed to be a uh, Shane face McMahon face. and face-to-face encounter face with off. Kevin Owens. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, so Shane comes out, calls out Owens, says he's a coward, and then... Um, Owens doesn't come out. Yeah. He's he, back in catering. They were closing it in five minutes, so... Yes. So <laughs> apparently Kevin Owens Horton was hanging it. out in the... Uh, in the, I guess the hallway, mm-hmm. and where the crowd hangs out with the uh, concessions and whatnot, um, and uh, so he came down the stairs all the way out in the corner, the light shining on him. So obviously they knew where he was, um, and he says, "Shane, you don't want to mess with me. You don't know what you're getting into." Yep. And uh, he says, "You're not going to jump off the hell in a cell. I'm going to throw you yeah. off the hell in a cell." Well, I think before this. <clears throat> Is when Shane announced that it was going to be a false count anyway. Oh, yeah, beginning. before um, Owens had actually out. Yeah. come out. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I don't know why he did that, but obviously yeah. it's to lead to some some kind of new, Something. Yes. new spot. Mm-hmm. Um, He's not going to go off the Titan Tron again. <laughs> it could happen. <laughs> That's where the po- fall's going to happen. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, he, uh, uh, what... He says that, uh, does he say the thing about he was better off getting killed in the... No, that was, that was uh, a couple weeks back. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't yeah, sure yeah. if he had I reiterated see, see, that. See, the same things happen. Yeah. It just things mesh together when feuds are like yeah. this. No, uh, well, yeah, Shane tells him to come back down to the ring, and Owen just walks back and into the back yeah. again. Yeah, and he calls and him a coward when, again, right. right? Yeah, Shane calls him a coward, and then he chases after him. So he goes up the stairs and into the backstage, and he's looking for Owens, and then Owens blindsides him. They fight throughout the like the t-shirt stand. It was like the Nikki Bella, Marisa, not Marisa, Natalia thing all over again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then Shane, uh, yeah, Owens ends up powerbombing Shane through a table. Yeah, which was the weakest powerbomb I've ever yeah. seen. Yeah, but it did look like he hit his head on something. Oh, Shane. I'm sure it did, yeah. but he picked him up, and, and he of, like eh. dropped him. Yeah. Instead of putting him down, so he kind of just slowly plop. Well, it's probably it was just probably all concrete underneath and everything. I like guess that's that. true, yeah. but it didn't look intentional. That's that's it didn't. No, yeah, it looked like he accidentally dropped, dropped him. him. Yeah, so <laughs> when they were walking backstage, I was like, oh my god, how'd they know all those people weren't allowed in this area? <laughs> <laughs> all the security guards and everything. Yeah. Um. So then Owens walks back down the. Uh, through the crowd and he gets back in the ring and you know he says what he's gonna do like you said he's gonna throw him off the cell mm-hmm. and everything else and then shane makes his way through the audience and then we see a girl twerking in front of him yeah, that was weird <laughs> that was funny but it was weird um and then they fight again mm-hmm. then owens headbutts shane just like he did to vince a couple weeks back yep and then he hits him with a pop-up power bomb and that was the end yeah i mean it wasn't bad it just went a little longer than yeah it was too long it was like 9 40 i think when this started yeah there was a lot of like pauses yeah so yeah so before this we were supposed to get the uh fashion files and then we were told it's going to return during hell in a cell yeah 
So I, I think that had a lot of people disappointed. It had me disappointed. I was disappointed, too. I liked that. I was like, oh, maybe there'll be something good to come of this show. Nope. Because yeah. they announced it, like, at the end. Yeah. So do you think there's a chance that they just didn't have enough time? Something went over or something? It's or, possible. Or do you think they planned that from the beginning? I, I think they probably looked at the card for Hell in a Cell and said, oh, wow, we don't have that much. Mm-hmm. Because they added the pre-show match as well. They mm-hmm. announced it during the show. Oh, okay. Yeah, that it's going to be Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin versus the Hype Bros. We're going to get that heel turn on the pre-show. It's going to happen. It's possible. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this was our SmackDown review. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.